Hi all, so today we're going to cover the factions within Titanfall 2, the who are they, what are they and what do they do. Starting with the basics, whenever you go onto your multiplayer screen, you've always got several options. You've got your play, customize, comms, call sign and settings. The factions can be found under the comms heading and is the third option on the right hand side. Once you're on the faction screen, you'll notice that you've got six factions that you can select. You've got the Marauder Corps, which is unlocked at level 1, Apex Predators, which are unlocked at level 12, Vincent Dynamics, unlocked at level 20, the Angel City Elite, unlocked at level 33, the Six Four Gates, unlocked at level 39, and last but not least, Ares Division, which is unlocked at level 49. Starting with the Who Are They, the groups that you can play for, the factions, are sort of private military companies that are out there on the frontier, all vying for power, resources and taking up contracts. That's how most of the missions are based and played out, is you'll start with an overview of your task or your objective. So... From personal experience, I kind of find that the Marauder Groups and the 6-4 Gates are like the good guys. You've got the Apex Predators and Ares Division that come across quite heavily as the bad guys. And then you've got Vincent Dynamics and Angel City that are kind of on the fence. They're out there trying to do good, but sometimes their methods are a bit questionable. In regards to what are they and what do they do... The factions are groups that you select to play as, as and when you choose. And at any point, if you've got them unlocked, you can move between them as best suits you. When you're playing as the factions, the main aim for them at the moment seems to be cosmetic gear. So as you play through, when you hit the challenges that the groups give you, you're able to unlock camos for your pilot, your weapon, your titan... And then later on when you start getting to like level 2 and 3 of the faction you can also unlock gamer cards and you can unlock emblems to further personalise yourself when you're on the battlefield. Another great thing about the factions is as you're playing along and you are levelling up your association with that group is in between the main targets you can also earn credits which can go towards more customisable options such as unlocking special kill moves, more camos, more paints and you can also earn yourself advocate gift cards which again once you've accepted the advocate gift card which is done under comms and messaging these will further customise your options with more unique or rare items. In regards to overall gameplay, do the factions actually affect your gameplay? Not really, not that I've seen. Um, the main time that you'll notice them is the voiceover as you're playing through and you're being updated on objectives and how well you're doing. The voice changes depending on the faction you're with. And also the intro into your mission. So before you jump off the dropship, you'll find that as you change faction, the person standing at the front of the dropship giving you kind of the heads up to go to jump out, that'll change depending on who you decide to play with. To give an example of what I mean, I've put together a few clips from each of the factions just to give you a brief overview of how they differ. So if you've got time, just sit down, stay put, give them a watch over, and then I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't worry, you're working for the good guys. Capture them. 
hard points. Vincent Dynamics is grateful for your work. Superior force. This has been short, but I hope it's answered any questions you may have had in regards to the factions for Titanfall 2. If you've still got any queries, drop them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. And have a great day. Cheers. Bye. That's all, folks.